Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke here on Coach Max Entertainment. You can find a brand new episode of this Nuzlocke every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on Coach Max Entertainment. And guys, I am really happy to be back into this, into this Nuzlocke. Uh, Y'all are looking good today, especially you right there. Your, your hair is different. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop doing that for right now. Uh, so we're here in Sylphco, and uh, we have a... We have some new additions to the team, and I know I don't normally do this, but I went ahead and evolved a few people. While leveling up, it was just, I wanted to go ahead and get them evolved. So we have Freddy, who is a Poliwag, then a Poliwhirl, now our beautiful Poliwrath. Uh, Freddy's got Surf, Psychic, Hypnosis, and Strength. So if anything happens to Freddy, we done for. Uh, of course, Medi and Looney Luna are still here. Uh, Sparks. We evolved him last time. Look at that speed. Oh, goodness. Uh, his attacks, Jolt, uh, Sparks is only good for Thunderbolt right now. Uh, we'll, we'll get him there, though. He can learn Pin Missile, and that's going to come in handy later. Linguini is our Raticate. And I'm going to be real, Linguini is kind of just like a, uh, a specialty type person on the team right now. Uh, he He's kind of here in case somebody has to take a hit. And so Hyper Fang can be deadly, though. And Gus, our uh, Dodrio. He was a Dodoo, now he's a Dodrio. Super high attack stat. In fact, that may be one of the highest attack stats on the team. I, I think it may be. Let's check Luna's. Yeah, it's higher than Luna's. And uh, let's check Medi's. Medi's is not going to be nearly as high. Yeah. Wow. So I didn't know Dodrio was such a, such a heavy hitter. Uh, I'm doing great today. I hope you all are too. So we're in Sylphco. I'm going to not be battling every single trainer in this uh, in this building because now having played through this game a lot of the time, uh, Gen 1, like Sylphco was just a huge maze to me and I didn't understand how to get through any of it. Uh, also, Medi, I know he only has confusion. We could have used the Psychic TM on him. We didn't because in one level, Medi will learn Psychic. So that's when, that's when we're going to swap over to that. And uh, you know what? It looks like this guy's got some Zubats and Golbats. So let's uh, let's bring Sparks in here. Give him a give him a little bit of oh confuse Ray. Don't like that to start it off with. But Silphco was a huge huge maze to me, and I, I just I never understood it. Now I under like I know the like perfect route to get through it. You go to like floor four, floor five. And you have to battle, you have to at least battle one Rocket Grunt and then go on and get the lift key. Then you have to battle another, or not the lift key, but the uh, the card key. You battle another one right before you get to that lady with the beds where you can heal. You battle another Rocket Grunt. Then you battle your rival, one more Grunt, and then you're at Giovanni. And so there you go. Ooh, let's see how that, yeah, there we go, Sparks. a boy busting through here. Look at that. Critical hit, that high crit chance, oof. With that speed, that's what I'm talking about. So, hope y'all are having a great day. I know I've already said that, but I just hope y'all are having a great day today. Uh, I am recording. Uh, guys, don't worry, I am always going to make sure from now on that we are recording. I hope to never have any more close calls like that. You know, Medi is so super high. Medi is actually gonna be really, really good in Giovanni, Giovanni, in uh, Sabrina's gym, but with Sabrina's gem, uh, you know, I also want to get, I just want to get everybody else some levels. There's one particular item that I'm looking for here in the building, and no, it's not the Master Ball. Uh, the ma I don't know what we'll use the Master Ball on. There's no shinies in Gen 1, so there's not a specific, we need to save it for this thing. Uh, we may not even use it, who knows. Also, I guess... Okay, no, that's... J J Sparks is a good thing. I just stuttered over every single word I've ever tried to say. Uh, while we're battling a Magnemite, let's talk about Magnemite for a second. So, I just uploaded yesterday, two days ago, the day that this video is going up. Uh, I just uploaded a video going over using just a Magnemite throughout the entirety of Kanto in Gen 3 in Leaf Green. And uh, it was an interesting run. 
One thing that a lot of people have said in the comments of it was, why don't you go get the Hyper Beam? Hyper Beam, not Hyper Beam. Also, let's just see what Thunderbolt does to it. Uh, go and get the Hidden Power TM, because Hidden Power is type dependent, uh, or not type dependent, it is a random type based on your IVs. Okay, Sparks can make it through this. I, I If it uses Sonic Boom, then we'll swap out. See, but it's just going to use Thundershock, so there's no point to it. So I went back into the Magnemite uh, file that I have, uh, got Hidden Power, and my Magnemite learned a fighting type Hidden Power, which is uh, pretty, pretty good, because that's actually something I needed. So I went back and battled the Elite Four again, just to see how different things would have been, and it still wouldn't have been incredibly easy, but having that fighting type move versus a normal type move with return uh, helps out a whole lot with Onyx and Rhydon. It's not perfect, but you know. Also, let's uh, swap out of this, that ground type. Let's bring in Freddy. Oh my goodness. So, let me tell you all about a, I, I See, here's the great thing with these uh, Let's Plays. You get to hear just my stream of consciousness as it's going through. I, and my friends will tell you, I talk a lot. And I just sometimes talk without meaning to. And so that's definitely happening here from time to time. I didn't mean to use Surf again, but it's okay. Also, I've never been a huge fan of this Gen 1 Surf animation. Uh, I The Gen 2 Surf animation, I think, is my favorite of all time. That's just me, though. Anyways... Playing through Gen 1 so many times, and playing through this Nuzlocke now... Oh, I can't even get through here. Well, that's it for this floor. Uh, playing through it so many times, a lot of people talk about the, uh, the sprites of the Pokemon. And there are definitely some bad Gen 1 sprites. But, something that does not get brought up enough times... Okay, that's just a teleport fad. I don't know my way through Silph Co. on everything that's an optional route. I'll, t I'll tell you that, but uh, the back sprites in Gen 1 don't get nearly enough love in terms of they don't get nearly enough hate. I feel like the main thing, do we go for it? We're going for it. Uh, I feel like the main thing that people talk about in Gen 1 is how bad the front facing sprites are, which that Raticate sprite actually is not bad. I don't hate it. Uh, I don't hate this Hypno sprite either. We're definitely pulling you out of here. Uh, let's let's get Gus in here. I don't think Hypno has a huge defense stat, so let's bring him in here. What what what? Ah, oh, Drill Peck. Hmm, that was a good move. Uh, let's use Fury Attack just to see how much it does. Oh, and it's a crit. Well, oh Hypno, really? Okay, there we go. We can say bye bye to this Hypno now. So I'd like to do a video, all, 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 to, long story short, I'd like to do a video on the Gen 1 back sprites because I feel like a lot of people don't realize how bad so many of them are. Uh, I keep thinking back to Foxy, our dearly departed Vulpix. Uh, that was not a pretty back sprite. Dodrio's right here isn't too bad. It's, it's not the worst, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, I'm going to... So that's a video I want to do down the road. Oh, he's just a regular old Sylph employee. Not even a double agent. Uh, there's a video down the road that I want to do of just the, the back sprites. Also, I just talked with my wife about another video, and she actually helped me out. The So doing the Magnemite run, the reason I did it in Gen 3 was because having that steel type added on, because in Gen 1, excuse me, I'm a little burpy right now, um, doing it in Gen 1, there's only ground types that would be weak, I'd be weak to. And so, you know, having that Steel type would be really cool. And then I thought about how in Gen 2, when Steel and Dark types were introduced, Magnemite and Magneton were retroactively fitted to be Steel types. But then, after that... I mean, like, there were no other... There were no Gen 1 Pokemon that were retroactively became Dark-types. Uh, 
And it's just, that gave me a really interesting idea for a video. Basically just going over which Pokemon would be cool if they had made it a dark type. Uh, and I'll go ahead and tell you one of them. Uh, ooh, let's get out of here. But while we're talking about him, here he is. Uh, not specifically Cubone, but Marowak. Uh, I just kind of went through and I thought, you know, which Pokemon look evil, I guess. Uh, and I thought Marowak looked like it could be a dark type. Uh, it would have been a really interesting type combination, ground dark. I think Crocorock, Crocodile, that's what I meant. Uh, Crocodile, I think, is dark, dark ground. It may be just dark rock, I'm not sure. But I think that would be a really cool type combination right there. Uh, so we just kind of talked about other Pokemon. My wife is not nearly as knowledgeable about Pokemon, but she she's played a little bit of some of the games. Uh, she's never finished her own game, and I've tried to get her into one, but it is what it is. So, uh, let me tell you about... There were other Pokemon in that list, but I don't want to spoil the entire, entire video just yet. Oh, man. So, during this quarantine, I talked about it in one episode. Uh, I went through, and I've been playing my guitar a whole lot more. Uh, I, I, I own two guitars. Uh, well, I own more than two, but, uh, yeah. I play guitar just well enough to make it seem like I know what I'm doing. Oh, poison gas. Oh, oh no. Are we going to be able to get there in 52 steps or less? Oh, we got those three steps right there added to him. Oh, sparks. Okay. Get ready for counting. One, two, three. Count along at home. Four. Five. Okay, I think we'll be good. Six. Whew. See, the good thing about this later... Ah, seven. I could have just gone straight to the thing. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Do I have, do I have anything? Okay, no. Okay, I'm actually gonna go, um... Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. We're gonna make it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Pokemart right after this and get a few antidotes just to keep that this from happening. I do not want to lose somebody off of a random poison like that. Sparks made it with 32 health remaining. Guys, I am just a terrified little child sometimes. That's really all there is to it. But like I was saying about uh, playing the guitar, uh, I know just enough on guitar to make it seem like I know how to be really good with it, but I, I'm not great with it. So I'm trying to, trying to use this quarantine time to actually learn more. Uh, I've been looking up a few different things, trying to learn a little bit of music theory, and the other day, one of my guitar strings just straight up snapped. Uh, oh, we got plenty of money. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just take 20 of those. Uh, I'd really rather have... Super potions. Hyper potions are okay, though. Let's take 16 of those. We got plenty of money, so it's not a not a huge deal right now. But my guitar string the other day, it just snapped on me. But it was the weirdest snap I've ever had. In high school, I was tuning a guitar once, and it snapped, which makes total sense, because you don't... It, you're tightening the strings. So, of course that's gonna cause it to uh, snap a little bit. But this one, I'd been playing the guitar for about a week, picked it up, sat it in my lap, and just dang, just straight up, straight up snapped. Oh, uh, that was the floor I was on actually, wasn't it? No, that was not the floor I was on. Uh, so that was a little, little weird. I went and got it fixed though. I have my guitar back, there you go. Uh, it's, it's nice to have it back again. Oh, I can't even do anything here, okay. Well, on the next floor is where we can finally get the card key and then make some progress. Also, normally, let me tell you about these runs that I normally do. I don't normally ever need half of the items in Silphco. Like, there's an elixir, and sometimes I need that. But the iron, carbos, calcium... By this point in the game, I've basically got all the EVs that my Pokemon can can get. 
Uh, Magneton. Who do we want to throw in here? Luna? Mm. Let's see. We're going to get the Earthquake TM here. Luna? I mean, Luna's resistant to it, so we might as well. I just don't want to put too much stock in Luna just yet. Because she will not be any good in Sabrina's Gym. Uh, and let's see. I found out that... Okay, we are faster than Magneton. Interesting. Uh, One-hit KO moves are not like how they are in other games. It's based on your speed. So, uh, there was one... <laughs> I'll tell you, there was one Fero, I think. I was using Horn Drill against it, and it used Mirror Move. So it could have, uh... Could have put it into me. We're definitely faster than coughing. Yeah! Getting drunk with power right now. But worry not, in my hand I have a Mountain Dew. Let's do it again. Yeah, Weezing is out of here. There you go, Looney Luna. Guys, Nidoqueen is one of my favorite Pokemon now. I'm not even gonna lie. One more, one more. Three for three on the one hit KOs. That's what I'm talking about, Looney Luna. Let's get some hype for that. Oh, level 35, there we go. As I was saying before the battle, I don't normally need half of the items in here. Uh, if the Pokemon I'm using can't learn... Okay, so this always confused me as a kid. You have to go on this teleport pad and then go down here. Because then to my right is where... Or to the right is where the card key is. Which is kind of a tricky spot for it to be. Like, all things considered. Uh, Sparks. Ooh, this Arbok is a little... Little evil. But I think a Thunderbolt will just handle it. If not, I'm super... Oh, look at that. Atta boy, Sparks. I'm not super concerned about that one Arbok anyways. So I don't know my way 100% around the items in Silphco. But now that we have the card key, we're just gonna, gonna make some progress. Getting through everything here and there. So I told you about my guitar. Let me also tell you about, if you were lucky enough to make it to it two weeks ago... Maybe just a week ago? Whenever it was, I streamed... That's not the Earthquake TM, I don't think. I think Earthquake is TM. Yeah, that's Takedown. I don't I don't need that right this second, so I'm not going to do that just yet. But I streamed uh, DuckTales, the remastered version, on, the, on Xbox 360. And there was one achievement that I was trying to get that I had never gotten before. Okay, Protein. I'm going to look up what Protein does uh, after this episode, because I want to use it on a Pokemon that'll benefit from it. Let's battle this guy, just to get some levels. That way we don't run the risk of losing more and more Pokemon on our team, because that would be miserable. Uh, but there is one achievement in the DuckTales game where you go through... Sparks is at full health. Let's do this, Hypno. Bring it where you have to go through and beat the entire game on the hardest difficulty, and the way that the hardest difficulty works is that you can only, you can't get a game over. You have to restart from the very beginning if you get a game over. And I tried it, it was my junior year in college, I tried playing through it, getting that achievement a good number of times, and I never, never could beat it. But my very first attempt on the stream, I got it, which was really cool. And so then I swapped over to Sonic Generations, which is another game that I played in college that I need just one more achievement in. Let me tell you about that Sonic Generations achievement. Uh, Sonic Generations, fantastic game if you've never played it. If you love Sonic in any way, you need to play that game. Kadabra, why are you using Teleport? I mean, I'm not super heartbroken by it, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, confusion. There you go, Kadabra. Look at me, cheering for the enemy. Uh, that Sonic Generations game, it's fantastic. But, the one achievement that I don't have in it is... Oof, Mr. Mime. So, Mr. Mime, I never thought was, like, incredibly creepy, but this sprite is super creepy. One thing, I know I was just talking about Sonic Generations, but I've got to talk about this now. In Detective Pikachu, everybody, Tail Whip, I don't need Tail Whip. Sorry, Tail Whip. Oh, cried. Uh, one thing in Detective Pikachu, everybody was like, oh man, Mr. Mime looks so creepy. But like, 
everybody always says Mr. Mime looks creepy. Like, people were complaining about Mr. Mime looking creepy. Like, that wasn't the point. And it just, it, it really confused me. This guy doesn't even have anything, does it? Ugh, oh, great. Um, it, it confused me a good bit. I've never read these. Pokemon Report. Pokemon Lab created Porygon. Hey! That's cool. So there is some in-game lore to it. Pokemon Report. Over 160 techniques have been confirmed. So I guess that's just for, uh, telling you, you know, hey, there's this many moves in the game. Four Pokemon Evolve only when traded. Okay, that's, that's kind of clever, actually. I feel like that's something that they haven't done in some of the more recent games, is tell you, hey, these Pokemon evolve by trading, you just have to, you just have to, I hit the speed up button there on accident, my bad. Uh, you just, you have to accidentally trade your Pokemon, or look it up on Cerebi, or your Pokemon website of choice. Uh, I go back and forth between Cerebi and everything, so there you go. And we're coming near the close of this episode. Let me finish this with the Pokemon, or with the Sonic Generations achievement. Also, just to get even more ADHD, my, uh, this guy just talked about the Teeksy branch or whatever, uh, of Silphco, which you, you never even hear about. So, what even is that? Anyways, Sonic Generations. The one achievement that I... No, 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 no. Sparks, please, Sparks, Sparks. Okay. <laughs> Whew. So I may have just uh, freaked out a little bit for no reason. But the next time a Voltorb is coming out, I am swapping Sparks out. We're going over to Luna. Because her defense will, will handle it. Magneton. Magneton can't learn in a self-destruct, I'm pretty sure. But... Oh my goodness. In fact, let's get Medi in here. <laughs> Oh, guys, my heart just sank. I'm not even going to try to hide it. My heart just cried a little bit, thinking we might lose Sparks. Sonic Generations. The last achievement that I need in it is beating the final, final boss without taking any damage. And you play a Super Sonic in the final, final boss. So, you may already see the issue with this. You can't take damage. Let's learn Psychic right here, baby. There you go. Way to go, Medi. You can't learn, or you can't take damage as supersonic. What it means is you not getting hit by an attack from the final boss, but, and that there are some attacks in the game, in that boss where it, you know, vis visibly gives you knockback damage, or a knockback animation or whatever. Oh, uh, coughing. Oof. But there are some things that the final boss will do that... There's no physical, physical, I keep wanting to say physical. There's no visible way of knowing that you're taking damage or getting hit. And it kind of ruins that achievement. So I streamed, when I streamed, long story short, when I streamed, I played that uh, game for a little bit. And whenever I stream again, I'm going to keep playing that game just to get to that final achievement. But for now, I'm going to keep on working on these videos. The great thing about this quarantine is I've been able to work on videos in such a high level. And so it makes me it makes me enjoy that. I'll tell you more about what's going on with me during quarantine on the very next episode. You can find a brand new episode of the Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke here on Coach Max Entertainment, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I am Coach Max, and until next time, see you later. Flame out.